Dashrat Manjai, an ordinary man, stood in front of the 300-foot rock cliff of Jalaun Hills near Gaya, Bihar State, India, one day in 1960. The Jalaun Hills are a rocky barrier, that separates him and his people from healthcare, education, and employment opportunities. Manjai took a simple chisel, a hammer, and a spade. After that, he went to work. This hill had given us trouble and grief for centuries. The people had asked the government many times, to make a proper road through the hill, but nobody paid any attention. So I just decided, I would do it all by myself. Manjai was born into a family of landless mushahars, who are considered the lowest of the low in Bihar's severe caste system. He worked long hours at a landlord's quarry but was poor. The most difficult obstacle, though, was a rugged mountain that separated his community from civilization. The village was cut off from the rest of the world by the mountain and had no electricity or services. Their nearest doctor was 75 kilometers up the mountain in Waziganj. There will be no paddy crop if there is no rain in the next few days. Many young men have relocated to cities such as Delhi, Mumbai, and Chennai in search of work. Otherwise, there will be nothing to eat. Everyone bemoaned the distance, but did nothing about it. The year before, his wife, Falguni Devi, had fallen, and hurt her leg, while crossing the mountain, to bring him a lunch. When his wife became unwell, because she couldn't make the 55-kilometer trip around the mountain, to see the nearest doctor, who was only on the other side. She died, according to reports, because she was unable to see a doctor in a timely manner. Manjai became a man possessed. He thought he'd had enough. Rather than relying on others to solve the village problems, he would solve them himself. He was totally focused on knocking the mountain down and carving a road through it to aid people. So that no one else would ever have to deal with this dilemma. Shortly before his death in 2007, he said, This hill had given us trouble and grief for centuries. The people had asked the government many times, to make a proper road through the hill, but nobody paid any attention. So I just decided, I would do it all by myself. So he'd complete his day as a farm hand, and head to the mountain. Chipping away at the barrier, that stood between him, and a better life for his people. People referred to him as insane. When I started hammering the hill, people called me a lunatic, but that steeled my resolve. However, later on, some individuals came to his aid, including Shivu, Mystery, who brought Manjai a hammer and a chisel. Manjai explained later. Though most villagers taunted me at first, there were quite a few, who lent me support later. By giving me food and helping me buy my tools. But, while his drive began with his wife, he soon saw the value of his effort to his fellow villagers. My love for my wife, was the initial spark, that ignited in me, the desire to carve out a road. But what kept me working without fear, or worry all those years, was the desire, to see thousands of villagers crossing the hill with ease, whenever they wanted. One day, 
A reporter informs Manjai about Prime Minister of India, Indira Gandhi's rally. When Indira exits the platform on rally day, Manjai rushes over to speak with her. He can finally put forth his basic plea, a route for jailer, after being introduced by a reporter. Indira has remained silent. She gives him one of her garlands, poses for a photo with him, and then walks away. So, what occurs? The village of Manjai is plagued by corruption. There is still no evidence of a road ahead. The donation sanctioned in Manjai's name fills the pockets of the local authorities. But Manjai doesn't lose heart. He traveled to Delhi to meet with Indira Gandhi, India's Prime Minister. He entered the train illegally because he didn't have even 20 rupees for the ticket, but the police threw him out. He trekked almost 1000 kilometers to reach Delhi. He did not, however, receive a good result. He walks all the way to Delhi on foot, only to be laughed charged and humiliated by the cops on Rajpath. But Manjai persisted, rarely sleeping. Day after day, week after week, year after year, eventually quitting his laborer job, to devote his complete attention, to conquering the mountain. Manjai conquered there. Hill 22 years later, with his bare hands and an exceptional heart, to breach a hill to make a road in memory of his wife. One man with no schooling, and only rudimentary tools, constructed a road 360 feet long, 30 feet wide, and 25 feet deep through a mountain range. His route cut the distance between the Gaia district Satri, and was the Ganj sectors in half from 55 to 15 kilometers. People from 60 villages have access to, markets, healthcare, and jobs because of this route. People's lives were saved, and other people's lives were made easier, better, and safer as a result. It's all due of one man's persistent belief that his own actions could improve everyone's lives. On the 23rd of July 2007, Manjai was diagnosed with gallbladder cancer and admitted to the All India Institutes of Medical Sciences in New Delhi. On August 17, 2007, he died there. The government of Bihar gave him a state funeral. Manjai wished for a paved road to be built across the route, but he could not see it happening in his lifetime. Dashrat Manjai cut a path through the mountain, and it now has a gate named, Dashrat Manjai Gate. In addition, a hospital in his honor has been named for him.